Instead of going around down on yourself, feeling unattractive, too tall, too short, not enough of this, too much of that, no dare to get up in the morning and say, I am a masterpiece. When you start your day, you must own your morning. When you wake up in the morning, say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. It's how I live my life. One of the reasons why I am today. Life doesn't really happen to you. Life really happens for you. My question today is what kind of I am's are coming out of your mouth? I am victorious. I am blessed. I am talented. I am anointed. Some of you, if you would just change the I am, you would go to a new level. I am strong. I am confident. I am equipped. I am more than a conqueror. I am well able. Make sure you have the right I am's coming out of your mouth. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. True desire in the heart, that itch that you have, whatever it is you want to do, that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money, that desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you. Sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have. Make a list of a dozen or two of these I am's. Read over them all through the day. Get them down in your spirit. Meditate on them. They may not all be true right now, but you have to call the things that are not as if they already were. I am prosperous, I am free, I am talented, I am young, I am beautiful, I am attractive. What would be your perfect day? I mean, your ideal day, a day that you went to bed that night and you just thought that was the most incredible day. That's how I want most of my days in my life to be just like that. What would that perfect day be like for you? Don't wait until the end of your life to have that ideal day. Don't wait until next year or next week to have that type of day. We can choose to wake up every single day and live that day in an idealistic way for ourselves, in a way in which we show up as who we want to be, in a way in which we are doing things that enliven us and engage us and get us excited, in a way that we're doing things and being with people and creating experiences that feel alive and fulfilling. We can have that type of life. I call it the charged life and everybody can have it. My encouragement is never say negative things about yourself. Most of us would never go up to another person, at least to their face, and criticize them. Yet we have no problem criticizing ourselves. I am so slow. I am so unattractive. I am so undisciplined. That is cursing your future. Do yourself a favor and zip that up. We have enough in life against us already. Don't be against yourself. So be a person of good, positive thinking. Be a person of good, positive action. And suddenly one day you'll wake up and you're like, I, don't need, I just feel amazing, I feel extraordinary, I feel positive. And that's what it feels like to live the charged life. You're still here. And you get another chance this day to do better and be better. Another chance to become more of who you were created and what you were created to fulfill. First thing I do when I wake up is number one is I smile. If you will stay in faith and just go out each day be your best with a smile on your face, happy where you are, then you are passing the test. I really believe that how you start the day is how you end the day. 
And when you start the day the right way, in a powerful, empowering way, it's gonna totally transform everything that you do and experience throughout your day and throughout your life. And at the same time, if you start off the day the wrong way, if you start off the day like most people do, which is pissed off and angry and stressed out and uh, you know worried and have all these negative emotions that fill their body, as a result, it's gonna affect everything they do that day. It's gonna affect their experience at their job. It's gonna affect the relationships that they have with people in their life because when you're in a bad state, you're gonna treat people totally differently as opposed to being in a great state. It's also gonna affect uh, your experience with your customers. It's gonna affect your health, your body. But more importantly than that, it affects your quality of life. When you smile, for me, it represents gratitude. It represents that, oh my God, I'm alive. I celebrate the fact that I'm alive. You know, what a concept to celebrate the fact that you have another day of your life, which is the greatest gift you could ask for. Another day to create whatever it is that you want. Another day to pursue your goals, your dreams. Another day to experience life to the fullest and to experience all the gifts and joys that life has to offer.